word squaw is an offensive name for Native Americans, yet it appears on some 650 geographic areas around the country. A move is underway to rename those sites in California. Let's go live to KTLA 5 Shelby Nelson in Wildemar for more. Shelby. That's right. There's already an effort to get a lot of that federal land and those names changed, including Squaw Mountain right behind me. We're in Wildemar. This is in Riverside County. Now, of course, Squaw is a very derogatory and offensive name to many Native Americans. Earlier today, I spoke with the assemblyman putting forth some legislation in the state of California, and he says that that could really bridge the gap uh, for any land that is not federally owned. A move to change the names of national and local public lands is gaining steam. 40th District Assemblyman James Ramos introducing Assembly Bill 2022 to rid all California locations of names with the word squaw. And we refer to it as the S word uh, bill, um, taking away the derogatory names um, towards, towards Native American women. The first committee hearing for the bill is set to happen in the coming weeks. If it passes, name changes would take effect January 2024. The word squaw is widely debated in the Native American community. Those familiar with its origins say it simply meant woman in languages of Eastern tribes with no negative connotations. But as it was passed down through the years, the word evolved into something much more. And once the uh, colonizers came, they started using it um, as a degrading meaning towards Native women. And throughout the years, as they traveled east, or excuse me, west, they began to um, just use it derogatorily as a woman's body part, a female body part. Didi Manzanadas Ibarra is the director of American Indian Movement, Southern California. She says for years, the word squaw has stayed with them. You know, it still affects us because we know what was meant by it. We know the names we've been called. Last November, the cabinet's first Native American, Secretary of Interior Deb Holland, vowed to take the S word out of hundreds of locations around the country. Our nation's public lands and waters should be places to celebrate the outdoors and our shared cultural heritage, not to perpetuate the legacies of oppression. Indigenous people, and in particular women, know how offensive this word is. In the Inland Empire, several locations like Squaw Mountain and Squaw Hill in Riverside County are on the list to be renamed. And we've actually already seen some of these uh, names changed. We have. So up north, if anybody has gone to Tahoe anytime soon, uh, Squaw Valley, formerly Squaw Valley, has actually been changed to Tahoe Palisades, that area very popular for skiing and snowboarding. So we saw that name change name change there. And we're likely going to see a lot more of those changes across this, the nation as well as here in the state if that legislation passes. Reporting in Wildemar, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News.